Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalm 112, verse 4. Even in darkness like dawns for the upright, for the gracious and compassionate and righteous man, there is hope for the upright. We always say, friends, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just keep pressing on, keep moving on, don't give up. No matter how difficult your situation is, it can be pitch darkness, friends, that had come to oppress you. You can see anything. You are groping in the dark. You are so helpless. Yet we are told today that light dawns on the upright, to the compassionate, to the gracious, to those that are righteous. So, friends, make sure that you get a right relationship with the Lord. So that even when the most difficult time would come to challenge you, you will find hope in Him. Yes, it could be so dark, friends. Your situation could be so dark. But you will not be hopeless because Jesus is with you, the light of the world. You will not walk in darkness, friends. You will not be groping in the dark because you have the light of life. But in the midst, friends, of darkness, when you are suffering, when you are so hopeless and helpless, how can you bring in that light? Well, we are told, friends, again in Psalm 119, that thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Then, friends, bring in the word of God. That's the beauty, friends, of having the word of God. Because that word that you have, friends, will be the light that will help you navigate your Challenges. You will come out of those dark places, friends, victorious, because suddenly the Lord will give you that light and that you will see things clearly. You won't be groping in the dark anymore because you got the Word of God. See, friends, keep the Word of God in your heart so that light dawns even in darkness. Hallelujah. So are you not glad, friends? That we get the flashlight of God, the Word of God, wherever you go, even in darkness, friends, midnight, pitch darkness, friends, it won't oppress you, it won't terrify you, because you get the light of life. Amen. So, friends, keep the Word, meditate, read. Apply. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May He lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.